welcome in the previous lectures what we have seen is that we have seen several examples of how to find a neighborhood when the metric and metric spaces are given in this lecture also we are going to continue with the same but in a different context yes in the previous lectures uh, we were given that in real line we are going to find a neighborhood in real plane we are going to find a neighborhood but in this example if you see we are asked to find out the neighborhood at any point where x is a discrete metric space here the point is not given the set is not given and moreover the radius is not also given in this case we will have to explore all possibilities and find what are all the possibilities for neighborhood let us get into the problem here it is given that x is a discrete metric space okay if x is given to be a discrete metric space what is the metric that is defined on it the metric defined on it is d of x y is 1 if x and y are different is 0 if x and y are same okay now these are all the possible values for discrete so which means what your d of x y is either 1 or 0 therefore and we know that generally d of x y is a non-negative quantity therefore with this help we can segregate the values to be uh, what if we will explore the cases when 0 less than or equals uh, d less than 1 okay and the second case is going to be when the d value is bigger than or equals 1 because it will be either 0 or 1 if you choose 0 it is it will lie in this category only if you choose 0 0.25 then also it is going to lie in this category if you choose 0 0.99 then also it is going to lie in this category okay 0 0.7 that also comes under this category only so if you fix your radius value okay instead of writing this to be a d you can have this to be your radius okay when you fix your radius for the neighborhood in this thing that is one case if you fix your radius in this case that is another case okay what will be the neighborhood let us see so for case one now let us see n r of let this be r1 and let this be r2 okay for our convenience purpose n r1 of x it is what it is going to be the collection of y in x such that d of x y is less than this r1 okay whatever may be the value of this r1 this is going to come under this category <coughs> which means our d value will be 0 because it takes only two values either 1 or 0 a value which has to be any value which is in this case will be uh, greater than or equal 0 so if you compare with this you will have to come to 0 so what is the possibility of getting 0 it is going to be simply a single term x because only when you give d of x comma x you will have 0 if it is any other point you will have 1 but your radius is smaller than 1 so in this case your radius is smaller than 1 so you cannot go for another cases ok now what happens in case 2 in case 2 r2 of x it is the collection of points in x such that d of x comma y is less than r2 ok the value of r2 is bigger than or equals 1 the minimum possibility that it can uh, sorry let us include 1 in this case and exclude 1 here because it has to be smaller than r1 even if you choose 1 it will be smaller than r1 then it lands in this category okay you will have to choose some value bigger than 1 so that even if you choose a value which is very next to 1 that comes under this category because it is 1 plus a very small quantity a value which is less than that thing has to be taken 
in that case one will come under that category even if you choose 2 3 3.5 4.8 whatever may be the radius that you choose everything will be considered as one because the discrete can take only two values okay in this case what are all the points it's it is satisfied okay one suppose if you choose your radius to be for example i am saying if you choose your radius to be two okay your discrete what are all the discrete values okay you you have fixed x here you will have to choose y for what values of y this is being satisfied okay whatever may be the value that you choose you will get what if it is not x okay i am now talking about this y apart from x whatever may be the value that you choose you will get one okay if you choose x you will get zero these two values are less than this two therefore you will have the entire set okay in discrete matrix space the neighborhood is going to be either a singleton or the entire x based on your radius okay so uh, we don't need to specify what exactly the set is whatever may be the given set and if you are given the information that a discrete metric is defined on it we can easily find out the neighborhood for that case we will have to check the radius is smaller than or equals one or bigger than one only this thing we will have to check okay thank you for watching this video if you have any queries you can post it in the comment box thank you